Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Becker Designs and I have such a cute little gift to show you today. I am using the Sweet Farewell stamp set from Stampin' Up! and I decided to make a travel gift for somebody who is uh, maybe going on a trip. So let me show you what I put inside. I got most of this at um, Walmart in the travel section. We've got a little travel sunscreen, some Tic Tacs, a travel sized a uh, mini Tide stick, hand sanitizer, of course, a little uh, lip balm, and a couple of candies. So I've divided the box up to fit these things exactly. I'm going to show you exactly how I did that, as well as, of course, the box and the super cute tag. Now I have two of them here. One is done in pale papaya, and one is done in fresh freesia. Um, you need 12 by 12 paper to make the box, so you'll have to buy a pack of the um, in-color multi-pack designer series paper, it ha or uh, cardstock. It has um, all five of the end colors, um, and they coordinate well, these three colors especially, polished pink, pale papaya, and fresh freesia. All right, we're going to start by making the box so that we have time to let it dry. You're gonna need several pieces. Now there's a PDF over on my blog um, for you with all of these measurements. So don't feel like you have to write it down. Um, just hop over there and grab that free PDF. Okay, the main piece is eight and three fourths by 10 and a fourth. And we're gonna score the long side, which is the 10 and a fourth side at one, four and five eighths five and five eighths and nine and a fourth. Then you're gonna turn it and on the short side, you're gonna score it at one and seven and three fourths. Now we're gonna do the other pieces in just a little while, but let's do this piece first. This is your main box. Grab your bone folder and burnish those lines really well. You want them nice and crisp, uh, this box it's a little bit heavier than normal because of the items that we're putting in it. Now, of course, you could put any kind of travel items you think that your friend would want while they're on their way to their destination. Okay, now we're gonna cut on the long side. We're gonna cut each of these score lines. And when we do that, we're also gonna cut an angle on each of the squares. Okay, so snip and snip, and then corner, corner. Okay, so you're just gonna do this for all of them. Flip it over, do these. Now to um, adhere our box, I'm gonna to use Tombow liquid glue. I find here in South Texas where I live in a humid climate, it seems to work the very best for boxes. Um, I also really like our tear and tape and our stamp and seal plus. So it just depends on your preference of which you like. Okay, so now I also have a couple or six <laughs> little mini clothespins. That's gonna help me hold my box closed while the glue is drying. You're gonna to put Tombow on the outside of each of the squares. Now I'm just gonna start with the first four. And I'm gonna fold them up into the sides like this. And when I do, I'm gonna grab one of those clothespins and it's gonna hold that in place. The glue will take maybe five minutes to dry. It doesn't take too long. Um, maybe give it 10 minutes to be sure. Okay, now we're just gonna do the same thing up here except the top, the lid only has two squares. Okay, fold that in to the side like that. And one more right there. You wanna make sure that you're matching the edges. So the edge of the side with the edge of that folded piece. All right, so there's our box. So we're gonna set that aside and let it dry for a while. Now let's make our cute little tag. We're gonna need two tags. I cut these with the uh, tailor-made tags, dies. I, it's the second and third largest. So not the biggest and the smallest, it's the two in the middle. 
Um, this one is pale papaya and this one is polished pink. I also cut out two of these little white tags to go on there. We're gonna emboss these with uh, dots and checks embossing folders. So it doesn't matter which you do. Um, just grab one. To emboss, you're gonna take these two plates off, the number two plates from your mini cut and emboss machine, and then grab your tag and set it in there. Put the hinge in that way, and then put plate number three up there on the top and run it through. These embossing folders are designed to fit perfectly in your mini cut and emboss machine. Now they do work in your big cut and emboss machine too, um, but I just am gonna use my mini today because it works so nicely. All right, so one in our embossing folder and then number three. And it just feeds right through there. Now, while we have this little machine over here, let's go ahead and do our sentiment. Um, I'm gonna take the embossing folders away as well as plate three, bring back the one, two, number two plates, and let's stamp our sentiment. I'm using the Bon, bon Voyage um, saying from this same stamp set. I'm gonna stamp it right in the middle of basic white using pale polished ink. Now I'm going to come back and I am using a label die. This is actually from the All Dressed Up dies. I like the shape of this one. Now we don't have a magnetic platform right now for this so if you're worried about it slipping around grab some post-it tape. I can get mine going and set that right there and that will hold your piece right in place. It won't slip. Okay, let's see how we did. Pop that out right there. There we go. Okay, so we've got that. Let's adhere those little, um, those little tag pieces on here. I'm just going to do a little bit of, of, um, Tombow clasps. I think that's what these are called. I never know what these little things are called. We've had a, a discussion on Facebook Live about these and I still can't remember. I think they've got several names. Okay, now let's do our cute little suitcase. We're gonna stamp it in Memento. And I just picked out um, Stampin' Blend colors that I thought would coordinate well for the Pale Papaya box, I used Pool Party, Polish Pink, Pale Papaya, and Fresh Freesia. And for the Fresh Freesia one, we're gonna actually color it Fresh Freesia. Now I'm gonna start with my light Fresh Freesia marker. And I'm gonna just go around, give the whole thing a nice solid coating. I am using the brush tip here because we've got a large area to cover. Usually I prefer the bullet tip end, but when I've got a lot of ground to cover, I, I like to use the brush tip. Just go slow and uh, that way you'll stay in the lines. And these little um, stickers or patches or whatever is on the suitcase, you could color these any color really. Now I'm gonna take my dark Fresh Freesia and I'm gonna add dark over here. Okay, so like there's a shadow, kind of an angle like this, kind of going up and over. And then I'm just gonna kind of feather that out and blend that color up like that. Okay, now I'm gonna keep my dark out and I you know this is when I'm going to turn over to that bullet point and I'm going to color the handle and the wheels and the way that I have the little tag you can't really see the wheels all right now polished pink 
I'm going to do the tag right here in polished pink and a little zipper. And how about we do the center of that tag and then dark pale papaya. And we'll do this one. Um, let's do granny apple green. And I'm going to, this little image, I couldn't quite tell what it is, but I think it's the sun and the sky. So I'm going to color it as such with granny apple, uh, pool party, and then I'm just going to use my light um, pale papaya. There we go. All right, now this does not have a matching die, unfortunately. So we're going to have to do some fussy cutting. So grab your little paper snips. These are Stampin' Up! small little scissors. They're fabulous. And I encourage you to add them onto your next order. They're only $10 and they are just perfect for fussy cutting. They kind of help you get into those nooks and crannies. They're small. Big scissors are tricky. Um, you won't be able to get around all these little pieces. So cut off the majority of your cardstock as you move and then just stay right on the outside of that black line. Okay. Use your opposite hand, whichever hand you're not cutting with, to turn your paper. And there you have it. Don't worry about that. Just leave that there. Okay, let's put this together. I'm gonna use dimensionals. And I'm gonna put two right here on the right side of my tag. I'm gonna put that angled like that. And then we'll put one right here. And then we're gonna actually put two dimensionals here to make up, because remember there's dimensionals under there. So to make it even with that one, we've got to put two. And we'll put that like that. And then I'm gonna put, whoa, grabbed way too many. I'm gonna put one right there and put my tag right across the bottom like that. Okay, very nice. Now, let's bring our box back over. We're gonna make the little dividers on the inside, um, but let's make sure it's dry. Yep, see how that is just, we call that a clamshell box, how it just, closes over the bottom like that. Okay, now to make the inserts. Now remember I made these to perfectly match the items inside my box and I'll pull them out as we do this. The first piece that you're gonna need is three and five eighths by nine and a half and this is Fresh Freesia. I'm gonna score it at three, three and three fourths, four and a half, five and a fourth, six and six and three fourths, okay? Now, you're gonna need two smaller pieces that are five by two and seven eighths, and I'm gonna score them both at one and three fourths, two and a half, three and a fourth, okay? And then the second one is exactly the same, one and three fourths, two and a half, three and a fourth. Okay, let's open this box so we can see everything that we we're gonna put in here. We're gonna start with that long one and you've got two peaks here. So I'm gonna fold that down and then this one goes up like this. Okay, and you see how that is? And then just set that in there. Now, if you wanna glue this in here, go for it, but I don't really think that you need to because the heavy things will hold it down. Now, for the sides, you've got this piece right here and it's gonna have a peak in the middle like that. So we'll put that down there. And then we've got the other one, which is exactly the same like that. All right, now, We'll put all of our little items in here. Little candies. 
I just love this little tied mini travel stick. I've never seen one of those, very cute. Walmart, the little travel section, you know, with all the little shampoos and toothpastes. All right, there you have it. Now we're gonna close it. And I have cut a piece of Fresh Freesia Designer Series paper in half, so it's three by six. And this is a piece of basic white that is three and an eighth by six and an eighth. And it's just barely framed. And then we're gonna put that in the middle, right there. All right, and then we've got a belly band. This is a one and a half by 11 inch piece of Fresh Freesia. And we're gonna wrap it around like that. And put a little bit of adhesive. Let's see if I can get my adhesive going. And over like that, okay? Now we've got our coordinating, perfectly matched Fresh Freesia ribbon. I'm gonna tie that right there. Tie a little bow. Cut those ends at an angle. And then all we have to do is put on our tag. And I'm gonna use two dimensionals to sandwich that ribbon right there. And we'll put that tag right there. And there you have it, a fun travel gift. As we all come out of quarantine and start doing some traveling, this would be a really fun gift to give a friend or a family member who's going on a trip. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube over to my blog, grab that free PDF, and you'll find two other sweet farewell projects over there as well. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.